Hey Vapors and welcome back to Just Vape with Just Wow. Uh, today I want to do something, or I should say tonight, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to do um, a, a device review. I don't usually do them because, well, I haven't had that many devices. Like, you know, why would I do a Provary one when, you know, 5,000 people have already done so? Um, this device I picked up when they were running a sale a month or so ago. It's called the SP3. It's a spark plug. And it's very small. So you can see uh, if I put it up against my hand, it's it's teeny. Um, it's very, very inexpensive, okay? If you just want to buy just the spark plug, it's $15.99. If you want a full kit, which is, um, looks like one battery on here, but I got two. So I think it's two batteries, the battery charger, which is like a piece of junk, but you know, whatever. Uh, they're showing a bottle of juice, atomizer, matching atomizer to the, the body of it. That's $27.99. Now I got the entire kit on sale for $14. So it was just like stupid not to, you know, at least give the thing a try. Now this is fully mechanical. Um, push button on the bottom. It takes a 16, 340 battery. I don't want to take it out of here though, because if I take the battery out, then the little copper pin up here is going to fall out as well. Um, when I first got it, I was pretty impressed with it. You know, it's just a 3.7 volt device. And you know, I'm th saying to myself, wow, for $14, this thing is, you know, it's hitting pretty good. And the, atomizer that they send along with it is an 801 connection because these are 801 threaded, but it is a 510 on the inside. You can see it. See, it does have a bridge in there, which I just, I've just left. Um, as I said, it's very inexpensive, but it also feels inexpensive and it kind of has performed that way as well. First of all, the threads are like very, very, very sharp. They're sharp and they're, they're, they're tight. Like I think, let's see if you can hear this. You hear that? It almost squeaks sometimes when I'm, you know, unscrewing it. Um, and at first the button was working really nicely. Now, I found that it will only fire if I press it at a certain spot on the side. Let me drip some into here. This is, uh, this is not what I meant to get. <laughs> Wait a second. I wanted Joe's, what did I want? I wanted his, his cherry limeade but that's not what I grabbed. Okay. So I'm going to put his strawberry banana in here now after the cherry limeade. This should be really interesting. Okay. And let's see. I just can't get that down. You know, you guys are like all good at it. I can't do it. I want to get the juice in my face. And okay. Let's see. Mm-hmm. So now, when it fires, it's actually putting out a good amount of heat for me to get some decent vapor and flavor. The fl This atomizer is actually very good. I'm not an atomizer person. Okay. I've tried different ones now. Um, it doesn't matter which ones I've tried. Just believe me. I've tried different ones. Bridge, no bridge, wick, blah, blah, whatever. I found that the only true flavor, and I mean strong, all the flavor of the juice is in a CE2. Okay. Um, I mean, I've tried all different kinds of cardamizers, the, you know, the horizontal coil, the, the dual coil, everything to me, the CE2 
once it is perfected from the leaking, which mine don't really leak that much anymore. I don't know why, but they don't. Once they perfect it from that, so I'm not an atomizer person, but I really, I really don't mind this one. And look at how pretty the white looks with the ruby Ming drip tip. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so um, yeah, so the threads, very, very, very rough. And then in here, see right here, you have the firing pin. Okay. This is a, um, copper or brass. I don't know what the hell it is. It's just a pin and it comes right out. And this is what your battery pushes up on to fire your atomizer. But as I said, I'm having a problem that sometimes even if the button is fully depressed, it's not firing unless I'm hitting it on the side and then it does. So that is the SP three. You can find this at, um, spark plug for smokers.com. I'll put it down there in the description so you can give it a try. It is just aluminum. It's just a thin, you know, thing, but really for the price. And if you have 16, 340 batteries sitting around already, I mean, it's just a nice little stealth thing to have when you're out shopping or something, you know, it basically is the whole thing is almost hidden in your hand. So I would say, you know, give it a try if they would just improve on these threads a bit and a little bit uh, more attention to the, the connection with the button. I think they've really got something going on here. So until next time, vape your face off.